The red fox, known scientifically as Vulpus vulpus, is a species of canid mammal found in various regions of the Northern Hemisphere, including Europe, Asia, and North America. The red fox has a distinct appearance, with dense and soft fur that typically has a reddish color. However, the fur color can vary widely, ranging from lighter, almost yellowish tones to darker, almost brown tones. This variation in fur color is influenced by climate, habitat, and genetics. Red foxes also have a long and thick tail, often with a white tip, which makes them easily recognizable. Their ears are pointed and directional, allowing them keen hearing. Nocturnal Habits Red foxes are primarily nocturnal animals, meaning they are more active during the night. They have metabolisms that assist them in this way of life. Their vertical pupils allow better adaptation to low light conditions, while their retinas have a high concentration of rods, light-sensitive cells, that enhance their night vision. Pointed and sensitive ears pick up the slightest sounds, enabling them to locate prey or detect dangers even in low visibility conditions. Adaptability Red foxes are known for their remarkable adaptability to different habitats. They are found in a variety of environments, including forests, grasslands, tundras, deserts, and even urban areas. This ability to adjust to different conditions is one of the reasons why foxes have a wide geographic distribution. They have the ability to explore different food resources available in each environment and adapt to seasonal and environmental changes. Diet Red foxes are omnivores, which means they have a varied diet. They hunt and feed on small mammals such as rabbits and rodents, birds, fish, and insects. Additionally, they consume fruits, berries, and even leftover food from human sources. This dietary flexibility contributes to their ability to survive in different habitats and explore diverse food sources. Physical Characteristics the red fox is the largest of the true foxes. Adult males can reach up to 16 inches in height and 35 inches in length with a tail length of 20 inches. They weigh around 22 pounds. The average lifespan is around 4 years in the wild and 10 years in captivity. Curiosity Red foxes are excellent jumpers. They have muscular and flexible hind legs that allow them to make large leaps. On average, they can jump up to 1.8 meters, 6 feet, in height and up to 4.5 meters, 15 feet, in length. This jumping ability helps red foxes capture prey, overcome obstacles, and move swiftly in their natural environment. Social Behavior Red foxes are generally solitary, except during the breeding season. During spring, males and females form temporary pairs to mate. After mating, males do not play an active role in caring for the offspring. Females, on the other hand, construct an underground den to shelter the litter and care for the young on their own until they are ready to venture out on their own. Skilled diggers, red foxes build complex underground dens known as fox dens. These dens are used as shelter, breeding sites, and also for storing food. The dens typically have multiple entrances and exits, different chambers for various purposes, and can be expanded over time. 
This digging ability allows red foxes to protect themselves from predators, withstand adverse weather conditions, and create a safe environment for breeding and raising their young. Red foxes and their important role in the ecosystem. Population control of prey. Red foxes are efficient predators and play a crucial role in controlling the population of their prey, which includes rodents, rabbits, and other small mammals. By controlling the populations of these prey species, foxes help maintain ecological balance, preventing population outbreaks that could have negative impacts on habitats and natural resources. Seed Dispersal with a varied diet that includes fruits and berries, red foxes ingest the seeds when they consume these foods and then disperse them through their feces in different locations. This contributes to seed dispersal and aids in the regeneration of plants in different areas, enhancing ecological diversity and ecosystem balance. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting and useful content like this. Make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for following me on this journey that I'm creating with lots of love. See you next time.